So I wanted to talk about a potential matchup that I think would be super interesting for many reasons and would tell us a lot about both of the arm wrestlers, which would potentially cement uh, the number two spot for the world's current best arm wrestlers in the ranking systems. That being Vitaly Letton versus Alex Kurdecha. I haven't really seen any videos of people talking about this. Obviously, this has not been announced. There has been no talk about this. This is completely hypothetical on my part. Uh, I just wanted to make this video going over how I think that would go and why I think it would be such a great matchup for the fans and for the world of arm wrestling as well. Starting off, you have these two giants that are both six foot seven, both weighing 300 pounds or more, both arm wrestlers being monster top rollers, and basically both guys having the potential to be possibly number one in the world um, at some point in their career. But that's where I think their similarities end. When we look at Alex Kurdecha, we see someone that can possibly have the strongest wrist in all of arm wrestling. And the reason why I say that is because of how dominant he was against someone with a really strong wrist in Ermes Gasparini a few weeks ago. Ermes Gasparini is known to have one of the strongest wrists in arm wrestling. He has to be up there in the top five at least. The way Alex Kurdecha dismantled and overpowered Ermes wrist, I think because it wasn't a fluke win and he won 6-0, basically taking Ermes wrist every single match, that we have to put Kurdecha against someone who is stronger than Ermes and who is higher in the rankings. I think we now have to put Kurdecha's wrist and arm strength to the test. Alex Kurdecha did arm wrestle uh, Kazimir, and I'm butchering his name, sorry about that, but if you look at the footage of their matchup, you see that Alex Kurdecha has this guy's wrist taken almost every single round. But the big problem with Alex at that moment was that he had really bad technique on the table because he was fouling out a lot and he didn't have an answer to Kazimir's side pressure. There were a lot of holes in Alex Kurdecha's arm wrestling game. When you fast forward to him arm wrestling Ermes, some of that seems to be patched up but there are a lot of questions that still need to be answered. I think a good test for him would be Vitaly Lelettin. Vitaly Lelettin is ranked number two currently in the world, right under Levon Sagnashvili, and I'm only talking about the right arm category. And the thing with Vitaly is that he's a very solid, complete arm wrestler. Um, he doesn't really have any holes in his game. Uh, he has a really strong top roll. He can do a lot of different things. He's very versatile on the table. The reason why a lot of people are saying that Vitaly Lelettin is possibly going to be the future number one of arm wrestling for a while is because of the fact that he's such a good arm wrestler. His only weak point is that his weight isn't where it has to be. He's been steadily gaining weight to gain power. It's believed that once his weight and power reach the maximum point, he's going to be unstoppable for a while. I think this would be an amazing matchup for the fans to watch. I think it would just be monster versus monster, a real fight of titans. Uh, maybe one of the promoters over there at King of the Table would be able to set this up because this, in my opinion, would be a very hype fight and would get a lot of eyes and will get a lot of talk going. I would give Vitaly Lelettin the upper hand because of the fact that he's such a complete arm wrestler and um, he is gaining strength slowly and gaining weight slowly. But who do you guys think would win in a potential matchup between Alex Kurdecha and Vitaly Lelettin? Leave a comment below and we will discuss it. If you enjoyed this video, hit like. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you get notified anytime I drop any type of video, especially arm wrestling related. Check out the Second Thoughts podcast on the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.